Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to your BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Monday, April 23rd, 2018. My name is Brige, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Seven and eighth graders, mark your calendars for this Friday. On this date, our dance, our school will be having our seventh and eighth grade dance. Our very own Mr. Meyer will be the DJ, and in addition to dancing, we will have games, snacks, and a photo booth available. The theme is Hollywood, so dress like the star you are. Attention 7th graders, are you interested in traveling to NYC next year as an 8th grader over spring break? Did you miss the informational meeting? Packets of information can be picked up in the front office. Parents who would like the PowerPoint from the meeting or have questions may also email Ms. Rosenberg. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Let's now head over to into a couple of quick news stories. Bobcats walking to school last week may have noticed that the flag was flying half mass. This is ordered periodically by government officials typically to honor a tragedy or mourn some kind of loss. Let's head out to BBTV reporter Claire to get the reason behind this decision. Thanks Kayla, I'm standing outside in front of the Buffett flagpole. As you can see, it is flying at half mast. The reason for this is occurring is to honor former First Lady Barbara Bush, who passed away this past Tuesday. Barbara Bush was the First Lady to George H. Bush and the mother to George W. Bush. She was a hardworking woman who worked to advance literacy and also founded the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. She was 92 when she died. <laughs> Famous Chicago pizza place Giordano's recently held an online contest where people could vote for their next location. Many CDs were on the list, but Omaha beat out all of them and won the contest. After the contest ended, residents of our city were curious when the store would open. To many people's confusion, the restaurant put out a statement earlier this month that said they would have no plans on opening a new restaurant in Omaha. However, last week, they tweeted a photo of a restaurant executives standing in front of the CenturyLink Center with the caption, Omaha, we are coming. Here is our executive team searching for the best Giordano's location in Omaha. While taking in the sights of our beautiful city, there is no official word for the, when the deep dish pizza place will open, but according to the marketing director, they are definitely coming. <laughs> Hey Bobcast, this is sports anchor Alyssa getting you caught up with all the big things happening in the world of sports. Thank you for joining me in the sports zone. Since it's Monday, let's talk about the big games happening this week. In Buffett action, we have tons of sports taking place this week. Tonight, the boys and girls soccer are playing Bryant. This is a makeup game from missed games earlier this season. Boys are away, girls are at home. Tomorrow, the boys and girls soccer will be in action again, but this time going against the Beverage Bulldogs. On Wednesday, boys and girls track team travel to Burke to take on Beverage Middle School. Then on Thursday, we have both a soccer game and a track meet happening right here at Buffett. The girls soccer team will play at home against Beverage while the boys are away. However, during the girls soccer game, there will be a track meet against Lewis and Clark. Moving away from Buffett, we also have the first round of NBA playoffs in full swing. Let's check out the games that are happening. The only game scheduled for tonight is the OKC Thunder taking on Utah Jazz at 9.30 p.m. on TNT. Those are the big games for this week. Now over to the Entertainment Corner. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Ariana bringing you the coverage of everything important to you in your free time. Welcome to the Entertainment Corner. 
Today we are going to be checking out the world of movies. The classic 1993 movie, The Sandlot, just turned 25 years old. To celebrate the anniversary of this classic film, the entire cast reunited. All of the actors were able to make the reunion, with the exception of the actor who played Benny the Jet. During the reunion, the actors discussed their favorite scenes from the movie and even played a few games of baseball. For those of you who haven't seen this movie, it is about a teenage boy named Smalls that moves to a new neighborhood and befriends a group of kids who play baseball at the nearby Sandlot. The kids decide to teach Smalls how to play baseball and run into some trouble throughout the film. That's all the time we entertain entertainment corner. Now let's head over to Twitter to see what our teachers are tweeting about. It looks like the wheel has landed on happy what? This means we'll be checking out recent holiday. For today, we will be looking at Earth Day, which was celebrated on Sunday. This is a worldwide event to demonstrate support from environmental protection. It was first celebrated in 1970 and is now global celebrated in more than 193 countries every year. To celebrate Earth Day, we are going to be showing some of the most beautiful places that you can visit right here in America. Check it out. That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more information on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we are working on for future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Bruget. Have a terrific day, Bobcats.